Hi, I'm Lee, and today I'm going to show you how to operate a map gas torch and how to set one up as well. But before we get started, you got to put on those safety glasses, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I just want to stress the importance of reading the instructions thoroughly before you do this yourself at home. The other thing that I want to touch on is it's important to be safe, but at the same time, I want to tell you folks, this is something that you can easily do. And you really have to think of um, gas as being like the gas on a, on a stove, you know? You operate with gas all the time. As long as you uh, follow the proper safety precautions, you're not going to have a problem. Okay, what you want to do is you want to carefully remove the plastic cap, like so. I want you to take a look at what that looks like. So what we're going to do now is we're going to thread our torch onto the canister. Let me show you the setup on the torch. See it has this like little nozzle you insert into this port. Now make certain that the knob that controls the gas flow is turned on the off position. You know, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, now we're going to attach the uh, torch to the canister. Now you want to make certain that you, you have the cylinder upright when you're attaching the torch and you also want to make certain that it's only hand tight. That's very, very important. Don't put a tool on this to try to maximize the uh, tightness of it. Not necessary. Just hand tight. And that's what you want to continue to do. Now once you've attached um, the torch to the cylinder, you're going to want to check with soapy water for um, leaks because you certainly don't want to use a you certainly don't want to use a torch that has a gas leak so we're going to do that next okay so I've got this attached hand tight and it's very secure now the next thing I want to do is I want to check for gas leaks dude this is no different than if you were to check for a gas leak around your home you want to use a soapy solution and if there's a leak you'll see little bubbles appear Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to drench this real good. Give that a second. Okay. You know, I'm pretty satisfied. What we're looking for is bubbles to be blowing. And what that tells me is everything's fine. If we found a big bubble like that, then we know that gas is escaping from the fitting. We don't have that here. So I feel very secure in knowing that I've attached this and it's attached tightly. Okay, now we're going to start this thing. And what you need to do is you need to turn the dial, turn that knob, and listen for the gas. Do you hear that? That means it's flowing and it's time to pull the trigger. There we go. You learned how to operate and set up a MAP gas torch today. And hopefully, you feel a little bit more at ease. Because the truth is, if you just follow the safety guidelines, it's a snap. Anybody can do this. So this is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.